Hello and welcome to another episode of, of the Beaten Pass. And as you can see, the torch is out. And uh, yeah. You should light up your places again. Lit torch. Like I said, around 8 hours of whatever. I don't know if it's 8 hours playtime or 8 hours Minecraft days. No idea. Um, today we will do. I already did made flare flare lantern. That's one out there. And um, let's get rid of this one because that's always makes it worse. It's, so gold glowstone and the glowstone is easy to get uh, either by archaeology or by getting onto the cold thingies, uh, mountains, and there you find them. On this side I have lots of them. And yes, that was this. I still have to do the terrain later, which is very neat. I have no idea if it will work with the other torches. I haven't tested it yet. And the end turn is also very nice. You can use it in your camping inventory. Uh, you put it here and then you can just switch it on and then it will burn and you don't have to have anything in your hand anymore. Uh, also on the to-do list. But before we go further I want to get into some other things and this would be stuff everywhere. I hate buckets. Um, I made the porcelain change the white porcelain barrel extension, the porcelain faucet, white porcelain barrel, and a liquid tank. I did get a common loot bag for that one. And this opens up this one. Some things are harder to come by uh, than you think. And this is for the block of iron. Because if you take a look for the iron block, or really any metal block at the moment, the recipe is in the metal caster or in the block casting table. There is no other recipe for it. Um, the metal caster doesn't work at the moment. There's a mod issue. It doesn't require RF that's configured, but the problem is it doesn't work. So. I have to look to into that, and uh, yeah, I, I made a bug report, but it looks like it's a mod detection issue, which is then a problem. So I crafted some stuff, um, but let's take a look at the loop bag first. Let's put the lava there. We got gold, spider eye, tombstone, soul bond. Possess the item. That's that's not that's not bad, honestly. Uh, you don't have to run to your grave and pick everything up. So there are better rewards, so of course. Mm. But it's free. It doesn't cost a thing, and uh, perhaps it's handy afterwards. Yeah, it gets full. Oh, there's a lot of meat in here. I have to move that over in an egg. I have to move that over into our kitchen. But not today, or not in this episode. It is this way. I forgot the horse armor. So I did make also this one, uh, and this is also the reason why we go into foundry. I made the engineer's work table. The recipe is easy. Uh, like again, a wooden is the best one because it's being used. Um, the usage of it is for the toolbox and the mechanical toolbox. Honestly, there's nothing very a lot documented about it. I have to play around with it again. It's the way to make the carpenter's workstation. And it's the way to make the one probe. 
and fluid transfer pipes. Uh, you need whoop whoop juice for both of them. So the other one, that is the mechanic one, also needs whoop whoop juice, and this one needs also whoop whoop juice. Whoop whoop juice is easy. It sounds hard, I know, or strange, but whoop whoop juice by itself is. The recipe is easy. Uh, you just go and make a boop boop juice bucket, which is the gem around the bucket, and you get it. That's quite nice. So if you smell it, you get the ingots, otherwise, you get the boop boop juice. And we should have enough later on. Yeah, we have enough to make some boop boop juice and then craft the one probe. But before we can craft the one probe, There is an obstacle, and the obstacle is what we need to use. This one, 500. We need in a plier which has 500, and there are not a lot of pliers which are 500 durability. Diamond ones, yeah, have fun with that, or bronze which has exactly 500. So yes, the uh, platinum also. So yeah, but. We go for bronze, and the bronze, again, there's no easy recipe for that. Um, bronze ingots you get by the metal caster or the caster, whatever. With molten bronze or molten bronze comes from the melting crucible. We need the bronze or the alloy mixer with t molten copper and tin. Three to one. Or the alloy crucible three to one, so nine there, three there, and you get 12 millibuckets. And this, this is what we're going to do. Um, there is a <laughs> annoyance with this, let's say it this way. So you need several, several different things. We need a mold crafting station. Let's do that um, here. And that mold crafting station, you can afterwards craft a mold. I will show you that. And then you need a heater. And the only thing you can craft at the moment is the fluid heater. So you have the burner heater that requires copper and bronze, and that's the issue. And you have the fluid heater, and this only requires copper and redstone gear and gold gear. It's costly, but it works. Um, and the other, the, the crucibles, they have to put be put on top of it. So you need to make the fluid heater. Um, and then put the melting crucible on top, and then you can uh, do red dot signal on, and then they get. Oh no, it's first off, it's off, and then we get a lever. Um, let's make an ugly one because. I can't make a nice one at the moment, so I will do it later. So, and you can put the stuff in via buckets or whatever, and here you can build it. And uh, you put lava in here. So at the moment the lava is not being drained, but as soon as you start the crucible, the lava gets drained very fast, and that's the problem. And it will then start smelting, so you need the temperature above 300K normally. And then it keeps on draining the, the lava, so that's why you want to power it off. Um, so let's get some tin and copper. We need it 
Bronx, Molten Bronx, it's Copper 3, 1 Tim. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Where do we have Tim? 1, 2, 3. <laughs> So we put it in and then it shows you you need a melt temperature of 900, 900 kilo Kelvin and you get that when you power it on. We do that later because let's get the next step. To get the stuff out a little bit more automatically and I put this in the wrong place. Uh, the rest is... Fine, I think. Let's put him here. Um, you need um, porcelain barrels afterwards, um, the faucets, and the channel, and the alloy crucible. So, when we put the alloy crucible in here, you can melt it manually, but you can also put a porcelain clay channel into it and then you use a faucet to get the stuff out. You will see how that works. And this doesn't really look good afterwards but I have to live with that. And then afterwards we pull it out here and here and we pull something out here. Um, so we get different options. And now let's get how that works really with the um, mold crafting station. So you put some stuff in here. So when you look for the molds, and what we are interested in is the iron mold, you see that you have the mold station that you'd have to have a depth of four in there. And you need to put something in and that's the question. What do you put in there? You put in there clay dust. Ah, porcelain clay. Which is, if I remember again, yeah, this one. You got unfired porcelain. That could be quite enough. I already did a lot of this and using that for the uh, components because then Foundry, the version which we are using, is based on ceramics. That's why it works together with ceramics. So, right? so you make an unfired porcelain um, block and then you put it in there, it's being consumed, and then you can do the crafting. And then you just go. Mark everything. So we have this one. This two. The three. And that's four. And then when you are thinking you are correct, you can do fire mold. And then you need to put something in here. And then it will fire and burn the mold for you. Let's make two of these. So after this you have to do the same again. Take that out, make the next mold so we use the, the charcoal correctly. And if we still have enough fire, we will make the last one, which is the 
ingot mold, which is Death 2. And we fire that also. There are other recipes, like the gear mold, the plate mold. Um, the plate mold would also work really nice. Death 0, Death 1, we do that also. And I think that's really uh, all the ones you need in the beginning. To make it easier for you to do stuff. Um, yeah, it's that, that call, it doesn't matter. So, when you have those molds, you can either use them in the metal caster, right? The problem is, like I said, at the moment it doesn't work. In a metal caster, you have an interface so that you can then add those molds into the interface. Quest complete. And if you use the white barrel porcelain clay or whatever, you can then craft them together. Yeah, on top. And you get a block casting table. And we do that again. We get another one. And again, we get the ingot casting. And again. You get a block plate. So the block goes here, so that we can directly smelt it and make a block. Like I said, there's no other recipe. Um, it goes to also was here, or hmm, let's do it in the corner. Uh, goes in the corner, and then we do the ingot here. So that we can create alloys, and then we have one, one left, and the play we do here. So let's take a look if that works. So we have the three tinging. It's in the air. We we make pull the switch. It heats up. It uses buckets of lava really, really fast, and it starts smelting, and it's then in the in the tank and then we can click on here and it goes into the caster one ingot and if it's, if it's finished we just put in the copper doesn't mix but we can drain it and then it starts the, the thing what is quite nice is that even if you put in from only one side the, the copper will go to the other side we will see that in a second. And also, this is continuously. It's not stopping, so it only stops because it's empty. Right, so you can click on it, and it goes in, and it goes to the other side. And it's also like, like combining, like like a tinker smelter, really. Um, and yes, you can see we are losing lava quite quite fast that's why i said it's it's not the best one this this one if you don't have unlimited resources of lava the other one which is the um which is using coal is a lot better for us as long as we don't have tons of lava which we don't have so here's Done, we switch it off. Zero millibuckets. And we should have one block and three ingots. And you can just click there and click there, and then we get our Bronx. Needs to cool down. Black and Tingers. Has a nice animation. I don't know if it's Tinkers or if it's a Sun Foundry or the physical. I probably think it's a physical mod we have. And then you get your stuff. Uh, we can move this box here. And put it on top. And put the rest of it in there. So if I need plates, I can just 
switch it either there or there and here I normally only do ingots or perhaps plates. Um, you cannot decraft de those things. I disabled it. A little bit more cumbersome but I think it's okay. Uh, we have lava. Um, we have still the barrel extension and the pots. So the other thing with this Keramomics mod is that you can use it for storing liquids. And that's fine. And we do that. Not that we really need. Oops. Not that we really need the, the the lava anymore because, like I said, we will go and let's put them also there. We will probably go and remove this one. There's still a little bit left. We can remove that one. Um, if it's gone. So what we want to do is. Craft the burner heater, which requires one copper, a furnace, and then this, which is f four porcelain bricks. We have that upstairs. Oh, did I have some left here? We have two. And one copper. It's a bronze. Oops. We need those for we have to put them in the furnace to make bricks. And we need a furnace. Which we could have, honestly, we have one. And then we can also make the pliers and the boop boop juice, and then we can make the probe. And then we are a lot farther than before because we have the probe. So, yeah, that's the way to get alloys. Um, I hope in the final run. It will not prove too complicated or anything. I have to think about different ways to do alloys. Uh, yeah, that's always that's the hard part of making a pack to make sure that everything works. And if you don't play it out completely, you never know if it will work. And the next part is then also, even if you play it, you don't know if other don't play it differently, and then. Yeah, let's break that boob juice in there, and then we need the artesian pliers. And we want the box pliers. They require two strings, a uh, one string, prongs, and four sticks. We have the sticks, we need. A string. Um, and to make them, we did need to do it in the blacksmith table with 50. Not in there. Oh, it works 55. <laughs> did I put all my bones away? Yeah, I was already oh God, thinking where is the stuff? So we have the artesian bronze pliers. We can put it in here. 
500 and then we need for the probe redstone gold nugget and redstone comparator which is stone quartz and three of those we should have quartz for redstone one gold ingot, which means we can make a gold ingot, uh, gold nugget, and we can make not a nugget out of it. Uh, let's make the redstone torches. Um, stones or stones, right? Yeah. Right there, this recipe. So we have the comparator, we can put that there, we can put this one here, and the redstone there, and we do that not in here, but in here. And this gives us the one probe. Get more inside. Nice. So we have a block of iron which we can claim, which is quite useful. And then we have getting started. Get more inside. We get an uncommon loop on the one probe beat me. Because we didn't get that. And this gives us a helmet, paper and a bucket. Okay. So, you got the readme, and if you right click it, it opens up the tooltip and tells you where you can um, where you can have the icon mod options from any client or sneak right click with this node. That's why you get this, so you can move it around. By default, it's there. And that's why I got it to you. So if you have the one probe in hand, you see now on the left hand top size what all the stuff is. But of course it's quite awkward. So better is to do the bubbles and they require four gold nuggets. Quite easy, quite cheap. Nothing complicated default. And now we have. Now we know what we are looking at. Oh, it's the one probe. And you see that this is the tank, and we have a crash. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I will need to look into this. Um, probably a server crash. So. I hope you enjoyed this session, this episode, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time, hopefully, and take care, bye.